Hi, I'm Chris Straub and this is Chase Dean and we're at Straub Technologies today. Straub Technologies is a multifaceted uh, company within the performance industry. We distribute auto parts, we machine auto parts, we manufacture auto parts, and we've been doing this since 2006 when I started the company out of my garage. I think anybody that knows me knows I've got a pretty good gift of gab. I'm excellent with customers and dealing with it, whether it's a positive or a negative. I look at sales as problem solving, so I need to sell them the machining or I need to sell them a part to solve that problem. Got with Rottler in 2016 and actually purchased my first Rottler piece of equipment, which was an EM69P for porting. From there, the relationship with Rottler, because of the quality of the equipment that they build, has allowed us to expand the business. So in our shop, we have one of every series of Rottler pieces of equipment that they make. It's funny, the guys, you would think that the, the, the cool machine like this with all the bells and whistles, but they actually love the surfacer. Chase runs the EM69, and he runs the seat guide machine, so he's part of the cylinder head department here at Straub Technology. I think Chase, as far as you love this industry, because you love of drag racing and everything else. Dirt track racing, whenever I was younger, then you know, I've always been around engines, and the precision of the machine is a lot better than most out there. As far as the programming and stuff, this was kind of really it's user friendly. This one right here, you, you set it and forget it. Okay. And, you know, you don't have to have schooling for like the Haas and the G code. That's one thing we do is we try to run lights out. So Chase may put a head in there at five o'clock, hit the button, turn the lights out in the building, and the EM69 HP is still running. For a shop looking at profitability, that's when you're really making money is when you're running lights out. And honestly, this goes back to the one reason I bought the Rottler over any of the competition's equipment is it was CNC porting for dummies. This machine allows a shop that may not have somebody with a lot of CNC experience, it makes going automated a much easier transition for somebody that may just be a true machinist and not have a lot of CNC type of knowledge. So for us at Straub Technologies, what Rottler has afforded us to be able to do is the four guys here can do the work that probably a 12 to 16 man shop did 30 years ago. So instead of charging one hour labor, we've got three machines running, so that's three times the labor amount. We couldn't talk about it several months ago, but we had been working with the Trans Am series, and now we can publicly announce. So we port the Trans Am 2 series heads here at Straub Technologies, and we port those on the EM69 HP. Crown Jewel is our small block Chevrolet 18 degree head, which is our mayhem head. This was fully CNC ported on the EM69. All the valve jobs are done on the manual Matic, and all the surfacing is done on the S86. Uh, but this whole package, then all the big brothers, we have the big block Chevrolet stuff, and all of this stuff will be actually CNC machined on the EM69 HP, and again, on the manual Matic, on the SG9, and on the S86. This is for the Engine Pro Group and their complete line of cylinder heads uh, that will be machined in some assemblies out of here, out of Straub Technologies here in Piney Flats, Tennessee. So again, Rottler is a key partner for us as far as getting this product line launched. People talk about going green. I mean, when you think about this industry and the remanufacturing of engines for the decades that we've done, actually our industry is probably one of the greenest industries that's done, because that's all we've done is recycle engines. You know, ring seal with valve seat seal, fuel distribution, because the ports are all the same, we can make these engines much more efficient as far as fossil burning fuel. I've always seen more power, better burn, right. you know, less emissions. So we're here with Billy Fisher. He has an extensive background in NASCAR, drag racing, and everything else. So Billy's had the best of stuff, and starting out, I guess you probably had just- The worst of the stuff. The worst of stuff, okay, all right. Billy's probably done more valve jobs than, than anybody I know. So we're standing here with the SG9 from uh, Rottler. 
And uh, Billy, what, what are some of the features you like about the SG9 over maybe other pieces of equipment that you've used? A lot of it is simplicity in it. It's easy to use. You can dial the head in however you want. You can stop it and lock up the spindle so it stays concentric to the seat and don't have to worry about it being out of round. It'll actually follow or push off to one side on the seat. So I know that's concentricity. That's a huge topic on the internet with a lot of the shops and stuff. Yeah, and you get it within three tenths of it. Okay, so three tenths on stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's not just limited to a big block head or a small block head. Okay. Level and gauge, you can either use it with electronic or as we got here, another electronic that shows you everything on it. This way you can dial it in off the guy, off the seat so much closer okay. and just putting it in there with a level, bubble level, like a lot okay. of places have. The more manual machines that you grew up with. I started with stones just like everybody else okay. in this business. This right here makes it simple. This machine, the only thing you have to learn is what you want to make your seat cutters to. Okay. So you have to figure out what you want for a top angle, what you want for the throat to be open up to. All that plays an effect to having your cutters made. So you feel as far as the SG9, with the added electronics that it gives you, for you it's a pretty easy learning curve going from a completely manual oh, yeah, machine to this? Oh it's simple. It's okay. really, anybody can learn it. I taught two or three guys during last week when we were doing a honing deal, and yep. they went out and bought them. They yep. got rid of their machine and come and bought one of these. Uh, from going old school ways to new school ways, Rottler made it simple. So Billy, you've spent your life developing cylinder heads, developing ports, chambers, intake manifolds, and everything else and stuff. Well, using the EM69, every port is gonna be identical. I don't have to sit back there and keep taking mics and measurements or tools that I made to make sure I moved the wall over to one time. So I just do one port, one chamber, one exhaust port. So where it took you, say, a week to do an intake runners and all that, you can do it in eight hours on a, on a EM69. So this is from Felpro, this is a comparator, and it's actually about surface finish and the levels of surface finish stuff. How long have you had this, Billy? Since the 80s. Since the 80s? So 40 years ago, you would actually use this comparator. That was what we was doing to see how we could finish without a profilometer and all that. It shows little numbers on here, the lines of the finish, like 70 to 85, so you can just basically think of that as a, a grit finish. Right. These aren't around anymore, so the profilometer is actually a piece of equipment that'll measure that surface yeah, finish, right? Yeah, like we measured that one right there with CSE, and the finish we got on this was like a seven on the RA scale. So you, so yeah, SE gasket, Aaron Hunter, the owner there, yeah. and Mark Malberg, the inter of, owner of Digital Meteorology, were here, and they were just walking through the shop one day with a profilometer, and they tested the surface finish on this cylinder head. And I think it was an RA at two, I believe. Five or seven. It was the finest they ever seen. It was it was actually and they never video. seen one that smooth. No, and it wasn't this wasn't a setup or anything like this. This is the standard work that Billy and his crew at Straub Technologies does on the Rottler equipment. And they were here for a show. That head was laying. It actually this is the head. And they measured it and Aaron and Mark were very impressed as far as that goes. So again, with 40 years experience in the shop and Rottler equipment, this is the type of work that we can produce. All right, we're here at the F69 with Tracy Gregg. Tracy has a very extensive history in this industry. He worked for Roy and Alan Johnson when they were running Pro Stock. And Tracy, unlike a lot of machinists on the automotive side, Tracy's done CNC work on all the blocks and stuff when you were Johnson Racing and stuff. Yes. So Tracy's, Tracy's got an extensive background in standardized CNC type of equipment, but not on the Rottler equipment and stuff. So Tracy, since you've come to work here, what do you feel is the advantages with the Rottler over what you've done in the past as far as programming and stuff? Well, the setup is 10 times easier. It's a lot quicker, more user friendly. I can set up a block and go in and probe it in half the time that it took me on the Haas machine. Okay. On the fixture and I designed. Okay. But uh, as far as this goes, I can kick out a lot more boring and decking twice as fast as I can on the Haas. And again, to be fair to any other CNC equipment, the Rottler is specialized to do what we do as far as in our industry and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's the program's already wrote. You just go in and 
give it the places to go and it'll go in and check and see how close the block is. And that's one of the features I really like. You can tell where the cylinders are, how far they're out. Same with the lifter bushings. It tells you exactly where they are in relation to the crank and the can. The productivity in the shop's already gone through the roof in the last six months since you've been here working for Billy and, and working here. I mean, the sky's the limit with this stuff, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I see us getting a lot more stuff done. And the more I get more used to this thing, it's we're going to do a lot of work. Yeah, no, and I agree. And right now we've got the Summit block on there that they're selling right now. And as far as the probe work on it, you found it one of the tightest as far as aftermarket blocks, close to factory spec as we've seen, right? He's right, yeah. Everything's been checking great. So you've heard from guys that have used manual equipment. You've heard from guys that have used state-of-the-art CNC. It gives you the edge because it gives you a jump start into doing machine work. The blueprint of block on a manual mill, what do you talk about? Maybe a week? <laughs> if not more. All right, so you're talking 40 hour a week to blueprint a block. That's lifter bores, boring, decking, main tunnel and everything else. On the Rottler, Tracy? I could have it done, check everything within an hour. So you heard it right there. So going forward, if you're thinking about getting in this industry, the Rottler equipment will definitely give you an advantage. have this shop to, to start out of my garage and you know you always hear that dream started out of the garage and you know you are here I love what I do I love this industry and what we feel with Rottler it's one one service call if we need anything and the type of equipment the type of support that they give us we'll continue to buy Rottler uh, in the future